What's up guys, welcome back to Way of the Hunter. Last episode was our first day in Transylvania. And what did we get? We got a, I think it was a red deer that we got, I believe. Yeah, I think it was a red deer or a roe deer. I can't remember. And then we got a boar. We harvested the boar. Now we're supposed to go and take that boar's head and put it in front of Perumbar's cabin. I'm pretty sure that he is not at all going to be happy about that. And I think we're fixing to get drug into um, an argument between two people. But I don't know. We'll see. So Perumbar's cabin is a good ways away. And I think for at least the time being, I'm just going to walk in that direction and see if we can run into anything along the way. And kind of take in the sights and get more of a feel of what uh, Transylvania looks like as a whole. I'm assuming that it's similar to Nez Perce where it has its own separate, I guess I wouldn't necessarily call them biomes, but own separate little areas that are a little different from the other. We can go along and if I run into anything interesting, I'll be sure to uh, show y'all. I didn't even realize it, but I've got some boar right here below us. Let's check them out. Let's see what we got. Female. That's a young male. We might get, look, there's a two star. Be cool if we could get a three star or something like that right off the bat, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'm not seeing anything special. Just some one stars and some females. I'm going to leave these guys alone for now and just keep heading towards the cabin. I think they're looking at me. Yeah, they're all looking at me. That's okay. They'll probably get scared. I'm surprised I didn't scare them. I think I just scared them. Yeah, there they go. Well, I came across a little fox. And they're pretty hard to hunt. So I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, take advantage of the situation. And harvest this guy. Because we're going to need him for a trophy anyway. And I would hate to miss the opportunity. Hopefully this just doesn't destroy him. We'll see what it did. I mean, I did just shoot him with a... What did I shoot him with? 308, I think. Let's claim him. Did it destroy him? Oh, he's only a one star also. That's okay. But if we can... It didn't destroy him. There we go. We did taxidermy, so... I know I said that I was going to do a one-star. If I run across another one that's, you know, a two-star or whatever, then I'll use that one instead. Ooh, what do we have here? Oh, these are the... The Mouflon, I think. I may be saying that wrong, but... What do we got with these guys? Looks like... Looks like we got some one stars. This is a one star adult. So I think I want to take him. Oh, never mind. We have a three star. And he's a mature. Yeah, let's, let's take that guy. How far is he? 195 yards. Alright. Let's get our rifle out. Animation was just broken a little bit there. Now we just need him to turn. Well, I might be here all day waiting on these guys to turn. And I don't want to move. This will be good, though. We get a trophy out of the way right off the bat. And he's mature, too. So I think he's pretty much done. We'll give the, the younger ones an opportunity to grow into something bigger. I'm trying to be patient, but this guy is not wanting to give me a side shot. I'm hoping that he'll turn here in a second and give me one. Okay. Now he's heading towards us, at least. Like a little bit of a clearer shot. Don't put your head down. Don't put your head down. Oh, okay. I should have taken that shot, but I was trying to pull it up just a little bit higher. And I have to watch this female because she's right in front of him now. That makes things more difficult. Okay. I think we're good enough there. If he'll stop. Oh, 
Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Yeah, I didn't even know what a mouflon was until I looked at it on the trophy rack. So now we have a three-star mouflon. And I, I guess I'm saying that right. I have no idea. Correct me if I'm wrong. Anyway, we'll be able to mount him. So we have a fox that we can mount. And we have a mouflon that we can mount. I figure it's more effective doing it this way. We'll kind of do it as we go. Might as well, right? Oh, that's a weird quiver, isn't it? Let's check him out. Zoom out a little bit. That's pretty neat. Okay. Yep. Three star. And he had a pretty good uh he had a pretty good rating too. Or I say a pretty good rating. The fitness score was good. So we'll do taxidermy for him. Okay, so I'm going to head on to the cabin. I'm going to try and stay on task this time because I try to make it where the video's not quite as long. Makes it easier to watch. And if I stop at every single animal that I see in all, then uh, it's going to be a really long video. So <laughs> I'm going to try not to do that. So I came back over to the cabin where we got this mission that we're doing from. Because I saw a little question mark on there and it reminded me that I needed to come and look at this map for this cabin. So we'll do that real quick. You've discovered Transylvanian lowlands habitat. The lower altitudes of these deciduous forests provide easier access for silent predators while offering a large variety of game from Eurasian badgers to fallow deer. Okay. Well, that's good information. It gives us an idea of what is in this area, I believe. So we can look at that and pretty much this outline here in this area. Cool. And so there's badgers here also. Alright. I'll have to keep an eye out for them. We scared something. What was it? Oh, it's some red deer. I'll check them out. And have a look at them. That never hurts, right? There's quite a few of them. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Now, I know I said that I wasn't going to get distracted too much. But, I'm sorry. I'm distracted. Thoroughly distracted. That is 264 yards. I'd like to get just a little closer. Okay, how far is he? 248. I think I can make that work. Zero in. That's at 328. I wonder why it won't zero in to at least that. I think I'll do 218 and aim just a little high. Alright, big guy. Stop for me. Okay, here we go. Oh no, the females are right in the way. Move. Okay, here we go. Alright. We got a good hit. We got a really good hit. He's not going to go far. And that's it. He's done. Sweet. Oh, I'm an idiot. An absolute idiot. I got distracted. And I'm sure that y'all already noticed it. Permission to hunt required, so... I just ruined any chance of me getting this four star. That sucks. So the only thing that we can do is claim it and then it'll give it to the property owner. What an idiot. And all I had to do was finish this mission. And I could have got this guy. Well. Hopefully his genetics have passed on. And those other males that are in the group are going to, you know. Be just as good. Wow, that's, that's pretty depressing I must say. Look at this thing. Massive. Seized by private area owner. 
It won't even let me claim at all to even look at it. Oh, man, that's horrible. I wonder if I could buy the rights to this land and then still be able to claim it. But is this guy going to stay here to where I can actually do that? I don't know. Let me see if I can figure it out. Okay, so I went and bought the pass for this area, which I know is, well, I guess it's technically not cheating, but I did it anyway, because I really don't want to waste this kill. And it's still laying there, so we'll see if this is going to work or not. I'll try to be more careful in the future, but if for whatever reason I have another brain fart, then this will tell me whether or not I can do it. Let's have a look and see. Fingers crossed, maybe. Let's look at the overview. We're geniuses. We are geniuses. So now we know that that does work. I'm pretty excited about that. I felt really, really dumb. Really dumb. Oh, man. Thank goodness. Okay. Taxidermy. What does this say? You're going to harvest ammo which can be used to prog progress in one of your... No. That is going on the wall. Well, that is absolutely enough excitement as far as that goes. Okay, that's enough distractions. I'm going to stay on task now, I promise. So I'm going to go get in the Jeep. And head straight to that other cabin and get this mission taken care of. That was a hike. Took about 25 minutes to drive over here. But you had to go all the way around. See that mountain range back there? Had to go all the way around that whole range. And then go up some switchbacks and then come back. It was, uh, it was still enjoyable though because there are... Tons of beautiful sights along the way. Everything looks pretty much about the same, though. I know I was talking about the different biomes, potentially, or whatever. But there aren't any. It's all basically just like this. It's the mountainous areas, and, you know, the trees are pretty much the same here and there. It's just different views and so on and so forth. But it looks amazing. It looks amazing. The only thing I do notice that kind of bothers me is... The reflections or the reflections of the shadows look kind of bad on the water. I think they could do some improvements there, but besides that, everything is everything's really good. Alright, so let's uh I guess let's get involved in this mess. Okay, so place that there. That's kind of a small box to uh, put a boar's head in, yeah? I guess since we're here, we'll go ahead and go in. We'll look at our map. And wow, look at that one. I bet that's a five star. I bet that's what a five star looks like. That's pretty cool. Okay. Um, let's see. You've discovered Transylvanian Highland Forest Habitat. Seemingly tame forests rich with sunset colors. If you have a glimpse through the colorful trees and manage to catch a sight of red deer, it's a privilege you'll want to remember. All right. So I guess this, this area is known for its red deer then. Very nice. This is a neat little, uh, neat little cabin too. I like the cabins here a lot. So they're really they're really homey. This is neat, a little upstairs area. Okay. Anyway, let's look at this and see what this is real quick. Uh oh. Here we go. Don't trust the man named Cart. 
let me tell you about his despicable low life. All he does is drink like a maniac and talk about me behind my back. Just insult me to my face, you coward. And don't listen to anyone else telling you anything different. I loathe him for his horrible personality and nothing else. And where his dislike for me comes from, I have no idea. Dear passerby, You are welcome to take rest in my humble cabin, but please help me with this feud. My trail camera isn't working anymore, and I know he tampered with it. Because he was the last thing the camera saw. I'm not in the area to fix it myself. I trust that you are res a respectable one. Adam Perumbar. Well. <laughs> Here we go. Getting into the middle of somebody else's mess. Oh my goodness. I knew that wasn't going to be good. I knew it wasn't. I mean, who who does that? And then that silly picture like that? It's almost like a child is getting us to get involved in some dispute. Anyway, let's look and see how far this is. Okay, so this is our search area here. So I think what we'll do is I'll run over there real quick and we're going to search that area. And we'll end the episode on that. I'd like to get in that one more thing before we call it. We have arrived. Let's go over here and check on this trail camera. I wonder what that is up there. That looks almost like a like a castle or something or a fort. I'm looking at our binoculars and look at it. It is. Or something like that anyway. I need to get up there and check that out. I need to remember to do that next episode actually. Otherwise I'm going to forget about it. I'm going to have to make a note of it. Y'all remind me. Okay, here's our trail camera. All right. So, I think we've been pretty productive today. The beginning of next episode, I want to go back to the lodge and put the trophies that we got up there. And what did we get? We got the fox, mouflon, and we got that, I think it was the red deer. Yeah, the big red deer that was a extremely close call. But anyway, we got them anyways. So that's the plan for the next episode. We'll go and do that first. And I'd really like to go check that out. But we need to work on these missions for these campsites also. Or the cabins anyway. But I don't know. I'll play it by ear and we'll figure out what we'll do along the way. It's kind of like I always do, I guess. But anyway, thank y'all for watching. Like and subscribe. Y'all have a great day and goodbye.